Authors' names and original post links are provided in the description. Let's get into the video. My husband ended someone and can't cope. Five months ago, a woman purposely walked in front of my husband's truck. He struck her and ended her. Much like the people who end their family before ending themselves, she was so selfish, basically taking him with her. He quit on the spot. His employer should have recognized that he was in distress and given him some time off instead of accepting his resignation. But they didn't. I'm eight months pregnant, and before someone says you shouldn't have kids if you can't afford them, I know. We are in a world of hurt right now, and it's only going to get worse. The accident brought up bad juju from an accident ten years ago in which he lost his wife and son. He has anxiety that he didn't have before. He goes to therapy but hasn't driven since the accident. He would rather walk in 100 degree heat than get behind the wheel. He has driven trucks for nearly 13 years, that's all he knows. I know mental health is so important, but we are at a dead end. I won't insult him by acting like I know what he is going through or what he is feeling, but we can't afford for him to grieve any longer. I have been telling him for the last month that we are running out of money. We have less than $100 to our name, and our pantry is bare. Life can't wait for him to get ready. I don't know what ultimatum I can give him that will snap him back to reality, but next week we are going to be living on the street. We are on a month-to-month -month lease because we don't have the best credit, so if we don't pay, we are out. I've already pushed our car payment back as much as I could. We've used our get-out-of-jail-free cards, used all the generosity from our family and friends, and I've exhausted local resources. I work full-time in a salon and simply don't make enough to support us. I try to find odd side jobs, but I'm limited until after I give birth. I don't want to come off as insensitive, but he needs to go back to work. We had a small savings account that we have been using, but that money is gone. My husband insisted he help out the woman's family with final expenses, which I was against. But he did it anyway. He feels guilty. And I feel like the worst bee wife in the world, saying all this, but I can't do this alone. Update number one. My husband took his life in front of me. This happened a few days ago, and it's a cruel, twisted irony that I made this Reddit post asking how hard I should push him to go back to work. My last post was about how we were going to lose our place because my husband couldn't recover after a woman stepped in front of him about seven months ago. I said it was like she took him with her. Now he is actually gone, and it's not even the same. Before I get some arseholes asking why are you posting right now, I don't know what to do. I notified his family. After my last post, I pushed him to try to get his job back and they took him back with open arms, which was a huge blessing and surprise. When I called his boss yesterday to tell him my husband wouldn't be coming back, he told me that the company would pay for his funeral. He had been with them for nearly 10 years before he abruptly quit the day of the accident. He needed therapy and time off but thought the best thing, the easiest thing, would be to quit and try to handle it alone. If you have people in your corner and if you have resources available to you, please use them. Did you know that if someone unalives themselves in your house, you are responsible for cleanup? If you are renting and don't have renter's insurance, it's on you. I'm eight months pregnant, and I'm being induced next week. I can't even go inside my house. I contacted the church we had been to on and off, where we got married, and self-harm is a sin, so no help there. I think I was too hard on him in the last few weeks. I had let the stress build up and didn't tell him how bad things were until it was too late. He thought, oh, she can handle it like she always does. We have to stop thinking like that. And by we, I mean anyone who is reading this, because I'm sure you do it too. I brought up adoption because who would choose to bring a child into this world when they are poor? That is what a lot of comments told me, and they were right. I'm being induced next week, and I don't even have a clean environment to bring a baby back to. It's the last piece of my husband, and I don't know if I deserve to raise him. I know I might have seemed like an arsehole about my husband, but he was a good man who deserved to be a father, and he deserved to be here. He just didn't see that, and I think I'll have a broken heart for the rest of my life. If anyone is in my area who wants to sit on the curb and drink lukewarm bottle water with a stranger, my DMs are open. If you are struggling, please get help. You are not weak or less. Mental health is so important and serious. Please. Update. Wow, I can't keep up with the comments. For privacy's sake, I'll just say Illinois. I have a lot of places to call, so thank you for every single kind comment and message. I won't say I'm okay or that I will be anytime soon, but I'm safe. Update number 2. 8 pounds, 5 ounces, and 19.5 inches. This is an update to those of you who asked on my last post, so I hope it's okay that I do so. I had my baby boy this past weekend. 8 pounds, 5 ounces, and 19.5 inches. I wanted to share the news because when I texted his family the day he arrived, I was told they wanted to know nothing about him and didn't want to see any pictures. Heartbreaking is an understatement. Trying to sign up for survivor benefits, 
and WIC while also filling out life insurance paperwork is surreal. I just hope it's approved as a P. I'm keeping my baby, no matter how hard it'll be. I never thought I'd be sending my husband to heaven and welcoming his son within a week of each other. I want to believe they somehow crossed paths up there, because the thought of him not meeting or never knowing his precious son is unfathomable. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoy listening to these kinds of stories, we've got more in store for you. Simply subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and share it with your friends.